DiCaprio is my favorite actor, and I think he is arguably one of the best actors despite his lack of Oscars. The truth is, I could wax poetry about all of Leo's movies, but I don't have the time. So I'll only talk about a few. One of the interesting aspects of his work is that most of his movies are at least somewhat based on true stories. I love those types of movies because they blend reality with fantasy. My top two favorites of his fall into this category. One of my favorites from him is The Basketball Diaries. Now, this is a little bit of an oldie because it came out the year before I was born. However, every time I watch it, it still gets to me. It's about a teenage basketball player living on the rough side of town with a worried mother and a very creepy coach. He, un he ends up developing a heroin addiction to deal with these things. The movie is based off of a book by Jim Carroll who actually went through this. As you can imagine, this movie is very sad and it makes me cry about every time I watch it, but it is well worth a watch. One of the best things about this movie is the imagery. Leo's character is a poet as well, so as he narrates the movie, the audience gets bombarded with that beautiful imagery that DiCaprio pulls off well. One of my favorite scenes is when DiCaprio describes, describes doing heroin for the first time. When he does this, the image is that of DiCaprio running through a field of very beautiful flowers sluggish, slug, sluggishly and eventually falling down. It is all very poetic, Leo's acting adds to the imagery and his acting throughout it depicts the feeling inside of doing drugs instead of just saying it. The movement is integral to the telling of the story. Another great moment is when DiCaprio comes to his mother's apartment for money and the mom refuses even to let him in. There is a real danger of overacting in this moment, but DiCaprio pulls it off perfectly. He cries hysterically, but you end up really believing him, and it's so heartbreaking. Everything about him just says he's desperate from the crouching on the ground and clawing at his face. If you haven't seen this movie, you should definitely, because the film has a lot to offer. Another one of my favorites is a little more recent. This movie is The Wolf of Wall Street. The movie is also based off of a memoir by Jordan Belfort, a real life Wall Street stockbroker. It details the very scandalous and sometimes illegal exploits of Belfort. Everything about this movie is big, whether it's the exaggeration or how much it is trying to offend you. It might not be completely honest, but it plays into everyone's worst nightmare of a shady stockbroker, and it is great. One of the best scenes in this movie is when Leo's character invites two FBI agents onto his yacht who are investigating him. He basically tries to bribe them to back off. The FBI agents refuse and DiCaprio's character turns into some kind of manacled villain. It is very exaggerated, but he's yelling at them as they get off the boat and throwing a bunch of money at them. And it is so funny because of how crazy it is. Another great moment is when Leo's character is supposed to resign from Stratton Oakmont in order to avoid any legal persecution that could land him in jail. But he doesn't. He is on the stage in the office in front of what seems like hundreds of employees when he who gets so hyped when he basically gives the middle finger to the FBI. He talks about how they would have to drag him out of there and ends with him humming and pounding on his chest and all the employees imitate him. This scene gets to me because it is so ridiculous and makes Strat and Oakmont seem kind of like a cult. It is so funny and out there and really eye-catching. I never really thought of DiCaprio as an actor who does physical humor, but this movie definitely showed that side of him. With the aforementioned scene, and as well as the scenes with him when he fought with Margot Robbie's character, and the infamous scene with Jonah Hill when he tries to get him off the phone, but finds difficulty because he is so drugged out. Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio is a great actor, and these two movies show the wide range he has achieved over his career. It is always fun to watch his movies, and I cannot wait for his next one.